So hi, I'm Rahat, uh, founder of Quidditch Innovation Labs. Uh, we're a company based out of uh, India that's working a lot in sports broadcast uh, and, and high technology with drones and buggies and, and spider cams. We shoot a lot of stock footage where we, we use the drones and, and send it across the country to be able to get a lot of archival footage from, from across the country and the world. Uh, and we're able to use that to provide to our customers as, as ready stock footage that they can use for uh, enhancing the quality of their productions and their broadcast. We've been around for five or six years uh, and we've been using a lot of this technology. And over the period of time, we ended up with a lot of archival footage. Uh, and this was GBs and GBs and terabytes of, of data that was just sitting on hard drives. And we needed to figure the most optimum way of being able to access this footage and then you know, reuse it for different uh, projects and, and use cases. Uh, and, you know, just sitting on a computer and looking at hard drives, you know, just so many different hard drives, just cataloging them was a very big challenge. So we, we spent a lot of time to be able to identify a good product that allows us to not just, uh, you know, do the basic function of being able to catalog this, uh, this stuff, but also, you know, allow a lot more than that. And that's kind of where we, we came across Excel, which, you know, wasn't just giving us a cataloging mechanism, but giving us a lot more where, you know, within a few clicks of a button, you had tagged each clip. You could find exactly what you needed, not just based on, you know, the date it was shot or which camera it was shot, but, you know, you could create entire uh, meta tagging structures that allowed you to be able to search purely based on how our operators needed to, to, to find things. And I think the customization that was possible in Axel was extremely useful for, uh, for us to be able to, you know, get exactly what we needed. And, and as a product out of the box, it's not just, you know, one size fits all, you know, it gives you the opportunity to be able to create it exactly like what you need for your particular use case. And I think where we're being able to use it really well is, is to be able to use all of our existing footage as stock footage. And now, you know, what, what earlier took us maybe four or five hours where somebody would give us a call and they would say, oh, we need footage from, uh, you know, this particular location or this particular area or this particular monument. What would take us at least five or six hours earlier is now a matter of minutes just because of what uh, Axel is able to do for us. So I think one of the key things that, that Axel has helped us is, with, is really adding efficiency to workflow. I think just the speed of turnaround with what was possible earlier with what is possible now is, is, is just dramatically changed for us. All of that footage was sitting on hard drives in our office, which the only person you know, had to physically go into the office and actually look through everything. But I think now with Excel, the fact that everything automatically picks up from the NAS and converts to a LoRa's proxy, and then is available to us for anybody across the globe to be able to access and reshare, I think that just adds a whole different dimension for us to be able to add efficiency to the workflow and make sure that things move a lot faster than they did, than they did before. It's a time saver for everyone. It saves time uh, for us to be able to find footage from our uh, existing library, but it saves a lot of time for our customers because if, if we weren't being able to provide the service, they would actually have to, you know, figure out a day where they would hire a drone, they would go out and shoot. Um, and, you know, the, that whole process is a much longer process. So suddenly a lot of our clients are being able to get footage that's already been shot, you know, at, at, a, at just a few clicks away. And I think that for them is not just adding a lot of value for us from a business point of view, where we're being able to reuse a lot of existing footage, but even for our customers in terms of the amount of time it takes to be able to get access to footage like that, the only other alternative they would have would be to go out and actually shoot, uh, which in this case, you know, within a few minutes of having a conversation, they've got immediate access to that footage that would work for them.